Hi guys, welcome back to Shop Customizer video series. I'm Milad and this is video number three and we're going to talk about the product page. In previous videos, we overviewed the Shop Customizer and then we talked in depth about the product list. If you haven't watched them, I suggest you pause this video, watch them first and then come back. Now let's dig into product page. I click to open a product and then click here to bring up the product page settings. For demonstration purposes, I've chosen a sample product which has multiple images, variations, sale price, and other stuff. Just like product list, here in product page we have a settings tab and a styles tab. Let's start with the settings tab. Here you can choose to have a layout for the page. This is basically the way product images and information are sorted and displayed on the page. For example, in the default layout, we have the images on the left, product info on the right, and additional information and related products on the bottom. And if I choose this layout, as you can see based on the icon, we have everything centered. You can try different layouts just by clicking on their icon. Let's revert it back to the default layout. Here we can choose to have a left or a right sidebar for the product page. You can change the content of this sidebar by going to WordPress dashboard, appearance, widgets, and change the content inside WooCommerce single widget area. To learn more about the widgets and sidebars in Jupyter, check out this video tutorial. Here you can choose to display various product information on single product pages. The options are similar to what we had on product list. So for example, we can hide the stock keeping unit if we don't want it to be displayed, and then publish the page to save the changes for front end. In these two layouts, by default, the product info are sticky, meaning when you scroll through the page, only the images are scrolled. If you don't want this behavior, turn off this option. So now the images and product info both scroll. Let's revert this back to default layout. The product lightbox option toggles the lightbox behavior. So by default, we can click on this magnify icon to bring up the lightbox, and when we toggle it off, it disappears. If the product images are larger than the container, the zoom effect works. And you can easily turn this feature off by toggling off product zoom. There's also options to hide the related products and upsells. And if you wanted to restore the settings tab to default values, simply click on this button. Okay, let's move on to styles tab and start with the image. As you can see, the image ratio is set to default. It uses the values defined in WooCommerce, settings, products, display. You can change the aspect ratio, change the background color if you're using transparent images, like this, and choose to have a border for the images. Here you can choose a different position for the image gallery and the margin values are available as well. Moving on to name style, again we have familiar options to change the font formatting for product name, just like what we had in some of the product list styles. Let's change the size and color. We have similar font formatting options for regular price, sale price, category, and tags. And inside add to cart button style, we can show or hide the icon, choose to have the button as full width, select different font formattings, adjust the radius and border, and set different colors for different parts of the button both in normal and hover state. Since we've already covered these options in previous video, I won't talk about them in detail. Again, for SKU, we have the font formatting options. And for the description, which is the text here, similar options are available. In variations and quantity, you'll have the font formatting options and colors. And in social share styles, you can hide the icons you don't want to display, change their color, their background color, adjust the radius or add a border. Different color options are available for hover state as well. And of course, we can change the margin. For the sale badge and out of stock badge, we have similar formatting options. And just a quick tip, if you wanna change the style of these badges and you're inside a variable product, you should select a specific variation in order to see the badge. For example, we have the blue variation out of stock and the green variation on sale. And last but not least, for the ratings, we can change their size and color or change the font options for this text. Again, just like I mentioned in the previous video, you can restore the default values of a specific style by clicking on the restore button inside it. Or you can revert all styles to their default values by pressing this restore button, which is inside the styles tab. And that's the settings and styles for single product pages. In next video, we'll talk about checkout and cart pages. Until then, take care and see you soon.